Hey everybody, welcome in to Watch Me Wednesday, episode number 73. I'm going to wait a minute or two. I know I'm broadcasting earlier today than I normally would, so I'm going to wait for some people to join in. Looks like some people are joining in. Hi everybody, welcome in. Sorry to broadcast early today, but I have a uh, an appointment I need to go to. Hey, Sue, how are you? And also, I must apologize for last week um, as well. It was um, an appointment I had to had to go to. Um, hi, Nedra, how are you? Um, so my apologies to um, everybody for missing out on last week and then rescheduling early. Um, just to kind of give you the short story of what's been going on as far as why I've had to juggle some things around with my Watch Me Wednesday. I've actually been here, but um, I think some of you may know, uh, last year I had, I had an injury um, to my leg, and, and we don't, I don't know exactly what happened, but I went through PT and everything. I had no surgery or anything like that. Um, but then again, this year I re-injured it. And as you know, I'm a very active person and nothing really keeps me down. But um, I was able to get in for a second opinion last Wednesday and I'm getting in for one today as well. Um, so I'm hoping to get this, my, get my backside to normal soon so that I can get back to doing my regular exercise so that's why I've been juggling things around so my apologies to all of you and I you know that I'm in early today so if you hit that share button I'd appreciate it because some people don't know that I'm broadcasting early um, because I'm going to a doctor's appointment later it was the only time I could get in today so if you hit that share button so other people can join in and then know that I'm live now because I've got some stuff I want to share with you and I hope that you're interested in what I have to share today. So here we go. So some of you saw that I posted online uh, this week that I actually have a new design out. Hey Deborah, how are you? Hey Laura. Um, yeah, I, I have, you know, I work a lot behind the scenes so I can't always post things that I'm working on at the moment because um, I just can't because they're not released yet. Hey Kim, how are you? I hope it's not snowing in Maine. I'm coming back east tomorrow, but to Connecticut. So um, if anybody are, is, is in the area, please make sure that the snow kind of stays away from there. I'd appreciate that because right now, if you can't see me, but I'm wearing shorts and we actually have the AC on. Today, I actually have the window open right now. So sorry but it's really, really beautiful out. Hey, Nancy. Um, so anyway, back to what I was gonna say. So I have a new design out, and I posted it earlier this week, um, or last week, and it is published in American Quilter Magazine. Oh my God, Kim, don't tell me it's snowing there. That's crazy, it's mid-April. You guys gotta get some relief soon. Anyway, so I actually have the quilt here behind me, but I wanted to show you how many of you get American Quilter Magazine from the American Quilter Society. If you do, my quilt and pattern are in here. If you don't, you can order it right from their website or you can go to Barnes & Noble and pick it up. I know that Barnes & Noble has it. Anyway, my newest design is called Sparkle and Shine and I did it with my feline fine fabric line and i really enjoy doing it and i'm going to show you the quilt so hit the share button too because i am going to tell you about a giveaway i'm doing too at the end um and there's a lot of stuff in the giveaway package so i'm sure some people may want to enter in the giveaway so hit that share button oh you got your magazine awesome gail i hope you um make the quilt there's also some other really beautiful quilts in here too so here is the quilt. It's not a huge quilt, so it's very doable. Okay, so I can't back up enough because my long arm is in the way. But this is the quilt that's in the magazine. And let me bring it up close. So it's called Sparkle and Shine, and it is a paper-pieced pattern. 
Okay, hey Anne, how are you? So I wanted to, to design a quilt with my Feline Fine Fabric line that looks like it has some stained glass. So what I did was I used some of the grays. Um, yes, giveaway package would cheer you up, right Kim? Um, so I used some of the grays in my fabric line to create that letting that you have in stained glass. And um, it's a really, really simple um, pattern. It's one block repeated over and over, um, but we alternate some of the fabrics. So it's really cool. And you, in the pattern in the book, or in the, in the magazine, I should say, in the magazine, you do get, hey Linda, how are you? And Cheryl's here watching too, in the magazine. So you obviously get the beautiful pictures. I don't know where they took that, but it's really gorgeous. Um, but you also get the instructions and you get the paper foundation too. So you can certainly create that quilt. And if you're looking for my Feline Fine Fabric Collection, obviously I have it available online and I will put the link above my head when I'm done. But what I wanted to kind of show you, um, I actually have been very remiss in blogging lately. And I finally got a blog post up and I'm doing a giveaway package in regards to my Feline Fine. So if you haven't seen it yet, the, the blog post, uh, myself and Aurifil Thread, we are doing a, um, actually they're doing a giveaway on their blog post about my Feline Fine and I'm also doing a giveaway. So I'm gonna show you a few things and what I kind of talked about on my blog post. So when I created my Feline Fine fabric collection, I also wanted to do another Aurifil collection. And this one's a little different from the other collections. This one is embroidery floss. So here's what I created. I created a little pillow and see, this is my black fabric. Doesn't it, it does remind an easier pineapple pattern. Yes, it does. Um, so this, this fabric here, if you can see the print is like the, the mixed, it has the fish bones, the flowers, the mice, the paws, etc. But what I did because the print, already has those elements on there. I took the Arafil collection, my, my floss collection, and embroidered those pieces. And I actually talk about it in my blog post. You can do a similar thing with this fabric and this fabric and that fabric. That one has the, just the fish bones on it. This one has the whiskers and this one has the mice. So a lot of my fabric in my line, oh, and this, this one has the fish bones, and this one, this one's not as much for embroidery because it's um, a stripe, but you, take, you can take the embroidery floss, which comes in, these are the colors that I picked in the collection. Um, they all coordinate with my Feline Fine fabric. And it was a great little hand project to do and I just wanted to, this, this actually went in my booth at, at, at Fall Market because I wanted to show um, people what you could do with the fabric line and the floss together. So you can create something really cool. You could just do little patches. You could do an embroidered um, quilt. You could do a little tote. You could just do a little strip of embroidery and use it as an accent piece on a purse or a clutch or something like that. So it's kind of a cool little idea. I used on mine, I did um, the embroidery floss, aura floss is three strands, or six strands, sorry. And I used three strands. Now, you can do less than that if you like, or, oh no wait, I did all six, I'm sorry. I did all six strands. So it gives it a little heavier look. I did not split the strands. Um, you can do, you can split them and do three strands. But what I also like about the aura floss too, is that, it comes on the little wooden spools. So it's not those little skeins that you normally see. I like the wooden spools because you can keep it all nice and wound. So that's um, why I created the, this Aura Floss collection because I thought my Feline Fine really lended itself well to creating little quick hand projects that you can do. So I wanna talk to you about 
the blog post and the giveaway I'm doing on there because I know some of you um, probably haven't seen the blog post and I will put that link like I said above my head so um, share the post and then um, I want to see some love for this package because this is a great little package um, as far as what the giveaway is so I told you about the floss somebody is there's gonna be one winner only one winner and it's gonna be from my blog you're gonna receive one collection of the springtime reflections or a floss you're gonna receive da -da -da -da, a fat quarter pack of my feline fine fabrics right so that is going to be like the coup de gras then oh and I forgot the other thing it's somewhere I gotta find it anyway you receive a laser cut kit of the applique pieces for the cat and the flowers so that you can create this pattern so the pattern is also included and I think hang on a second hopefully I have it here so let's see yeah so here's the pattern you also get the pattern so you can use the laser cuts then to create the pretty kitty wall hanging right Isn't that cool and then I'm also gonna throw in you're gonna get a Canton Village quilt works tote bag yay right so it's a pretty cool um, giveaway package that is only available on my blog so once I put the link up above my head when I'm done you can head on over to the blog and see you know everything that I write about hey Leslie hey Jean I'm gonna see you guys soon I can't wait to see you guys I was just talking to Caroline and I'm looking forward to coming to Connecticut this weekend just make sure you clear out all that cold weather please because I'm in shorts and there's Ginny I'm coming your way Ginny this weekend so anyway sorry I'm kind of going off top topic it's like that ooh squirrel or as Lisa would say my friend Lisa ooh shiny it's that distraction set um, that distraction that gets there so anyway I will put the link above my head and then you can all head over to the blog post read all about it enter the giveaway and there's actually multiple ways to enter the giveaway too um, so you can enter more than once and if you enter the more times you enter it the more times oh Teresa is saying you asked why we couldn't post on your post I it wouldn't show where to post and then said we did so Denise and Mitchell and I gave up good luck to everyone who could post so Teresa I need to help you out there okay so and it could be a browser issue I don't know what browser you're using so one of the things you have to leave a comment on but Teresa you can enter in different ways too you can still enter with some of those other options okay um, but one of the things you have to do is leave a comment okay on my blog post and I would really like to help you and Denise out I'm suspecting it's a browser issue um, or you have to clear your cache because sometimes cleaning the cat I know it's a lot of technical stuff but trust me for someone like me who works on the computer almost all the time you learn these things and it's really pretty simple to deal with so if you want to message me I can kind of help you through that because the giveaway is open through believe I have it open through the 16th of April so you have plenty of time to enter so you can certainly go back and do that Teresa you and Denise both can um, so anyway when you after you enter then you can also go to Orophil's blog post and I have a link to Orophil's blog post so that you can go there and you can enter their giveaway and they're giving away I believe they're giving also um, a set of my springtime reflections and uh, instead of a fat quarter pack right Linda ooh fabric instead of a fat quarter pack they're giving away scraps of my uh, like a big scrap bag um, that I'll be sending them to give away um, of my feline finds so for those of you who like to deal with scraps there's going to be plenty to deal with um, so definitely head over there now I will be even though I'm go leaving tomorrow and heading um, to Connecticut to teach for the weekend um, I will be back late Monday so I will be here again on Wednesday 
and hopefully I will have something ultra fantastic for you guys. And you know what? I love suggestions too. So if you guys have suggestions, I do make lists of uh, what you guys might like to see on my Watch Me Wednesday. I do love to do tutorials too. I like to try and keep them nice and simple um, for my Watch Me Wednesday. So if you have something that you're you know, struggling with and you'd like to see you know, a certain technique, um, maybe that I had done and um, you want to see. Do I still have fabric on the bolts so we can order? Yes, I have plenty, Teresa. I'll put the link above my head again. I got lots of feline fabric on, feline fine fabric on the bolt. So um, if you want to give me some suggestions as to upcoming Watch Me Wednesday episodes, that would be awesome. I am going to start thinking about when I'm going to be doing the next quilt along. It'll probably be after quilt market because right now I'm in high gear, gearing up for a spring quilt market. Some of you might have seen that the other day I posted about my line that I will be launching at spring quilt market. It's called Electric Desert. And I can tell you a little bit about the line. Actually, let me show you one piece. I've got them right here. Let's see. Hang with me. Hang tight. I'm just going to show you two small little pieces just to kind of get a glimpse, okay? So, um, long arm subjects, that would be great, Kim, but no. Only because I'm doing um, less and less long arming except for myself. Um, I, I only do it for myself, and most of it's edge to edge because that's all I have time for. So that would be a great topic, though, but for me, not so much. Anyway, so this is one of my Electric Desert prints, just so you can see the color, right? And this is a prickly pear. So these were actual, a lot of what I did for the design for the new Electric Desert that I'll be launching in, in spring was the, my, the chops came from actual pictures that I took in a desert. So this particular one, it's this beautiful turquoise color. So do you see the design on there? Lots of texture, okay? And um, lots and lots of texture for that. And what I actually did for this one was when I was on a hike, I had taken a photo of the, the desert ground, you know, the dirt, and hey, Scott, there's one of my FitFam buddies. I love you, Scott. I can't wait to run with you again. I'm getting my bottom checked out today, so hopefully I'll be running soon. Anyway, this is this is um, the actual desert ground after it had rained, soaked and dried. So that is actually where I created that texture from. So that's really, really cool. Um, and I'm only gonna show you those two pieces now. I have all the bolts here. But because it's not coming out till the springtime, well, I'm launching it in the spring to all the shops at the wholesale market. Um, you won't see it in shops until um, September, October, around there. But I've got some cool projects that I um, designed around it. And you can actually, I'll put the link above, if you haven't seen it yet, I'll put the link above. Island Boutique has put the new catalog out. So all my projects are in there and the entire fabric line. So you can see the little swatches of each of the fabrics that are in the line. The colorations, how I did the colorations was I took a picture of one of my, or I took one of the desert sunset pictures that I take and I've taken many. And I pulled all the colors from that desert sunset and came up with the turquoises and the coppers and the pinks and the magentas. Um, and that's how I came up with the color range in that fabric collection. It was that was my inspiration for it. So you I will put a link up there and you can go ahead and take a peek. And a lot of people are asking how they can get a catalog. You can't. The catalogs, unfortunately, they are for shops only because they are for them to go ahead and purchase that fabric line um, at, at quilt market or possibly before that. So they're not. Um, meant for consumer they're meant for just the shops so but you can still browse it it's online and it's a um, you can browse the entire catalog which is cool and if you see something you like like my electric desert collection tell your local shop that you really like it or you like a specific project 
and then they can order it in for their shop. So that's one of the reasons why they have it online. So I will put that link up there too. So anyway, thank you all for joining me and I hope you go over to my blog and enter that giveaway for the Feline Fine Package. It would be really cool, Kim, if it would um, help to soothe those winter blues you're having, right? So I will be back next week. Please put your suggestions down for any future um, Watch Me Wednesdays. I love that you're giving me lots of love. Thank you, everybody. And remember to hit that share button. And I will be back next week. I will see you all. And by the way, when I come back next week, it will be at the regular time, 1.30 Mountain Standard Time, okay? It won't be early like it is today. So anyway, see you all. Love you. Happy quilting. Bye-bye.